So I'm going to be sharing with uh, the high school faculty how I utilize technology in the one course that I teach here at RIS, AP Psychology. Um, I've used a lot of different technologies in relationship to developing some instruction. Uh, mostly what I'll share is some strategies, but then the strategies often involve some sort of piece of technology or some application that will go a long way into you know, kind of bringing learning together. Uh, my philosophy in terms of, of teaching the course is all about kind of more of a community of learning. And so I'll do a sh kind of show you through, I use Google Plus as a way to kind of run my blended classroom. What's nice about Google Plus is I can have different threads um, for all the different topics. And so if you click on a specific topic, there will be um, different class activities that were there or different articles that moved uh, the students toward a deeper understanding of learning. My, my thinking about the AP exam that they have to take is that they have to be really good readers. And so one of the ways that we encourage the you know, improvement in literacy is the sharing of what I think are more relevant uh, social media articles. And so, for example, I'll find articles that are not significantly long but are often likely just above their, their level of, of literacy so that we're really challenging the reading. We want them to be quick readers also. So with the processing that they have to do, we want it to be not just deep, but also uh, quick. So it, the, the use of the different, uh, uh, use of a personal learning network in and around psychology is really, really critical. Uh, video is, is an important uh, part of the course because the video provides a lot of context to the different uh, principles and concepts that we study. And of course, there are lots of different ways that we can bring in you know, w uh, Web 2.0 tools, slideshows. I have most of the, act most of the resources that I share with kids uh, or that I, that I share with kids in class, I end up sharing with them online as well. Um, so again, I, I do a lot with, um, with, with social media. And the reason why I do that is because the kids understand it and they really are somewhat interested in um, in some authentic resources. Um, that in addition to Google+, which, which is driven by more of us by hashtags, and one of the things that I've done is kind of record my hashtags in class. As you can see, um, under, well, if I go to all posts here, uh, you can see these are just some of the hashtags that I use in my class, and so we use that to filter information. Um, and identify different tasks right in class. Um, in regard to the, I, um, some other things that I use, I have a, a class website that's a Google site that is used to keep track of student information. Uh, in, in and along what I do around this is I put different questions, mostly around key terms. Uh, the big questions here, like for example, these would have like specific proficiencies that would go with these questions so that we always kind of know where we are. Um, and then there's resources that allow the students to be a little bit more, um, you know, uh, enriched if they choose to. Also on the site is a link to Google Plus so that they can see what kind of information uh, is coming up in the class. Um, I do a lot of assessment in the class and so therefore I utilize a... Um, a, pra uh, a tool called Flubberoo. And basically what Flubberoo does is, um, for example, here I'll show you a psychology quiz. I give quizzes, and the quizzes uh, can be taken by students and then scored automatically. And so what's nice about this is I really don't have to do a whole lot of work uh, other than kind of run the grading script. And when I run the grade script, um, let's see where it goes, um, I get to go to uh, sorry. And for example, here would be the responses are put onto a spreadsheet, and then I run a form script called Flubberoo. Flubberoo then grades the assignments, uh, emails the grades, and then generates a nice report for me so I can see exactly how students did. So that's really helpful with formative assessment. Um, I also share uh, resources on Google Docs. Um, one of the uh, uh, interesting tool that I use because I use a lot of you know visual literacy tools and storytelling tools in class like um, you know Prezi, um, voice recording tools, 
voice thread could be used, but I, I don't really use that one. I've used some other ones uh, like iMovie in class specifically. I did have students create or generate checklists. And so here would be a really good example. Um, let me open this one up. Um, this is an example here for preparing for the psychology, AP psychology exam about three weeks out, I had the students construct a detailed plan for preparation. And then they shared this on a tool called Checkly. Um, the reason why I like this was because not just was it shareable, but it kind of broke it down so the students could do some planning. The students know enough about like, like about you know, uh, the importance of planning and um, executive function skills that they, they didn't have to be told that this was important. They already knew it was. Um, but along the way, you know, what I've learned mostly about utilizing technology the AP Psychology Kids is that we wanted to use it in a way that makes sense. So we, we develop a strategy and then we use a piece of tech to support that strategy.